Welcome back to another episode of There You Have It. Today we're smoking the La Gloria Cubana Classic. Jeff, you want to give him a close-up? Yeah. This is a Robusto. It's a 5x50. Beautiful chocolatey brown Sumatran wrapper. I'll hit you with the dry drag and take it from there. Crushed it. You guys ready for the dry drag? Let's go. Do it. Leather for me. Yep. Right off, the, right off the bat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All over the lips. Good airflow. Great airflow. Almost a little sweetness to it. Kind I of got, a woodsiness. I got a little sweetness too. Maybe yeah. a little cedar. Mm -hmm. A little cedary. All right, so off the dry drag, we're getting leather and like a sweet, sweet wood. Toasties? Toast them. Let's do it. Let me down. Let me down. Don't let me down. <laughs> yes! I would say whatever you did there fixed your lighter. Dude. Yeah, I moved a little. You think it got moved when we chucked it across? The Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't do it any good. Yeah. Before we get into any initial thoughts on the La Gloria Cubana Classic, uh, it's worth noting that this came in the 92 rated Mega Hall that I got, I don't know, a month or two ago. It's kind of been relaxing in the humidor. If you want to check out that video, click this link. What are you guys getting on the initial drag? First thoughts, if you will. A lot of leather, a uh, little bit of spice in the back end, but definitely the, the leather's what stands out the most right now. Yeah, no surprises. I mean, dry drag kind of gave you what was coming. Yeah. Jake? Agreed. Definitely light on the spice side. A little leathery, a little woodsy. Great aroma on this thing. I think so. It's really pleasant so far. Starting out great. We're going to smoke these down to about halfway and we'll meet you there with any changes. Stay tuned. What is that? I don't know. Quail? It's a howler <laughs> monkey. I feel like it's right here. Is yeah, it right me here? too. It's going, oh, it's like a dog bird. We're not quite halfway on the La Gloria Cubana, but we tried a uh, V cut. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, we went with the deep V. What are you guys? What are you guys' thoughts? <laughs> 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 and he, laughing at he you. He totally took that one over. We might have to get a snowball on him. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Anybody want to unhook and get him? It, it, it's you, unsnowballable. I don't think so. Here we need a little. Don't listen to me, I don't know anything. What's that? It's gonna break up. It's a ball of snow. I don't know if it's worth it. Yes! Got him! Goodbye, crawdog. But I don't know if you guys noticed in the beginning, we decided to go with a deep V cut on this one. What are you guys' thoughts? I like it, I like it a lot. Getting great airflow. Yeah, I like keeping a little bit of the cap on. You know, you get a little more of the flavor of the wrapper. Yeah. You know, I think they, they take a lot of time in choosing the wrapper for the cigar. Might be a new favorite of mine. Yeah, so far so good. Agreed. Not really sacrificing on airflow at all here. No. And it, it kind of just cleans it up for you. You're not getting little bits of tobacco in your mouth. I'm a fan. Same. Thing. So, deep V cut. You might be seeing that more often. I might start just coming out here in some deep Vs. Get a little chest hair going for you. Thoughts? I think you, you should only wear deep <laughs> <from now on>. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you want to see Jake in deep V's constantly. Please no. <clears throat> so on the uh, retro, you get some chocolate. 
Hmm. Some chocolate on yeah. your retro. Let me give it a it, shot. It's a it's a harsh one. Okay. So take it so slow. Take it slow. <laughs> Feel the burn. <laughs> Whoa. Ignore it and just rifle uh, it through your nostrils. Uh, I'm maybe you guys need a vest because I'm not. What do we got? Cardinal. We got a cardinal. Cardinal sighting. See it? Nope. I hate when you don't see stuff. I got bad targeting. Well, cardinals are tough because they're bright red. <laughs> He's gone. Now. Which tree? Okay. Gone. Yeah. Bye, the cardinal. one with the bright red bird in it. We are about halfway down the La Gloria Cubana Classic and. It's been a great smoke so far. You guys got any changes? Not a ton. Maybe a little chocolate coming into mm -hmm. here. Uh, it's burning great. I get going with a razor sharp burn on this one. I got the same Tons thing of going. Smoke. Nice stack of dimes. Uh, definitely getting the chocolate. I'm still getting the, the kind of sweet wood taste out of it. Mm -hmm. Really enjoying this cigar. I agree with you guys. The construction on this thing is great. Uh, you know when I'm not canoeing the cigar, rolled really well. We're going to smoke these down to the final third. We're going to give you our rankings, our final thoughts on the La Gloria Cubana. Stay tuned. I was thinking on earlier when you guys were talking about peeps. I'm kind of built like a peep. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. Like yes. Yeah. A human peep. Do you like peeps? They're terrible. They're terrible. They're terrible. I can't, I can't believe there's any human that likes peeps. It is just floofy sugar. <laughs> Is floofy. floofy a word? Nope, <laughs> absolutely not. We're down to the final third on the LGC Classic. Jeff, you want to give me your ranking? Yeah, this has been very enjoyable. Uh, probably something you should keep in your humidor. Uh, this one I'll rank it at an 8.3. Solid score, 8.3 from Jeff. Jake? You down with LGC? Yeah, you know me. I am down with LGC. Great cigar, nice medium body, I'd call it. Very smooth, uh, I'll go with an 8.5. A glorious smoke. I, I mean, you nailed that. That's, good. That's gonna be hard to follow. I 100% agree, the LGC is a great smoke. I'm gonna keep it in my humidor. 92 rated, I'm gonna give it a 8.6. I really enjoyed it all the way down. There you have it, LGC, 92 rated, staple for the humidor. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to our channel. Jeff. Yes. What do you want him to do? Ring the bell? Let's ring the bell. Jake, mm -hmm. join me in ringing the bell. Okay, yeah. You ready? You can uh -huh. get a double. Yeah. You're in for a treat. Let's go. Jake, what'd you do last night? About four straight hours of gaming. We're gonna start doing gaming videos. <laughs> <laughs> if you want them, I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. No, we're definitely doing them. We're doing them. We're doing them. Why are we whispering? I don't know. You started it. I followed suit. Don't ever not call me a team player again.